Hi, I'm Angel from Parisian Phoenix Publishing. I'm here to tell you reason number three to check out our profile. We have a variety of local authors from New Jersey and um, Pennsylvania, and a few from other states as well. And this is my cat, Bob. He's a good reason. Uh, but let's take a look at some of our books. So you may have already seen on some of our posts, we have the Echo City, that's the cat, Echo City Capers children's books. You can find them on TikTok as Night Bat of Echo City. So this was their Christmas book. This is Sometimes I Get, a book about feelings. And this is one of my particular favorites. This is Bunnies, Cookies, and a Robot. As publisher, this is my idea to combine three classic Echo City caper stories into one book. So you actually have too many bunnies. Oh, what's the cookie? Well, let's look. Too many bunnies. Unfortunate cookies and UBU. UBU is another one of my favorites. UBU is the robot. It's a story about the robot, the bunnies, and of course, cookies. Joe does a great job with these covers. But if you want something a little more adult, well, if you just want a little more adult, we have what we call nostalgic fiction. And that are books by Larry Skirman, S-C-E-U-R-M-A-N, which turns from the right direction. Yes, I have a bird. Coffee in the Morning is a collection of short stories. And The Death of Big Butch is a novella about a young man in his 20s in the 1970s trying to come to terms with the need to grow up and take and kind of care for his family and what it means to be a friend. If you want something a little more non-fiction-y, Julian Costa edited this book by David Scott Campbell. It's a, it's a memoir about growing up in um, Ohio, Galleon, Ohio, a small industrial town. If you like your non-fiction to be more uh, self-help, or improvement based. The Flasso Devotional by Thurston Gill is a book um, about how to protect yourself and your family and maintain your Christian values. Or if you're not Christian, just basically how to be a good person in a violent world and not be a jerk. But yet, yeah, look out for yourself. If you want to hear more about personal experience, I edited this collection that features 12 different authors, not an able bodied white man with money. And this book discusses everything from disability to mental health, to body image, to sexuality. There's a little bit of gender identity in there. Uh, there's also some political stuff and some ethnic, ethnic backgrounds and some historical things. Fuck, and the cat wants my attention. So if you're more interested in writing crack, we have Ralph Gecko's Writing Dirty Words. This is a great little book with a matte cover made to look like a paper bag because of the fact that he talks about his writing career in um, primarily erotica, but he also does a lot of SEO copy, business writing, ghost writing, anything he can do to make a living writing. But if you are interested in erotica, we have Juicy Bits. The cover was also by Joe Schwartz. Um, this includes work by Ralph, myself, William Pristak, uh, M. Christian, an erotica writer from the West Coast, and it's all stories of BDSM, fetish, and kink, go, starting with the wild, the mildest stories and going to the wildest. But if you like good old-fashioned just romance, but you like it funny, try Trapped. The protagonist is turning 40, overweight, and it's based on uh, South Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, although it's called Millville, so it talks about a dying steel town. This book also includes original photography, which is pretty unique. Um, let's see if I, we tried to make it look like a little Harlequin, uh, but of course then it got really, really thick. So see, it's got all these little pictures in it. Basically the protagonist, this is, the protagonist um, falls, in, falls in love with the trapper who comes to get the skunks out of her backyard. So let's see, we only got a couple more left, guys. Uh, twists, 
The poetry collection by Daryl Perry is now in its second edition. The second is the expanded edition. Some typos were fixed, a couple new poems were added, and the cover was perfected. So if you like poetry, Daryl is very funny, and maybe we can even get a video of him reading some of his poems. Tarot, we have shuffling and scribbling. It's a learn the tarot book, but it's uh, intuitive versus here, memorize all these things. Nope. Uh, ah, the cat. This cat's going to be the death of me. Okay, so let's see. But the book itself has had some really positive reviews on Amazon. Um, it gives you the basics of how to go about learning to do the tarot in different steps, but it gives you a lot of space so that you can jot down your readings in different spreads, not just the Celtic cross. There are two more, well, I wanna say two more authors, let's put it that way. I don't wanna say two more books. Now, if I put the camera back where it was, the cat's gonna knock it down again because I had, I have a little perch where he likes to sit and that's where the camera was. So that's why he knocked it down. This is stops along the way. Charles has since passed away. This was like, uh, he was 95 when he got this book out. It's actually a Holocaust memoir because he was a child during the Holocaust. So it's really interesting is this is kind of a memoir of what his family went through and how he experienced it as a child. So it's not quite as nitty gritty and painful as a lot of Holocaust memoirs are, but it still gets a point across that it was a bad, bad time. So I left myself to last. There are other videos out there featuring me and my novels, but I have a novelette, Not the Quiet French Kid, which is an origin story for one of my characters. My first novel, Manipulations, which is a 400 year old uh, witch, stalks a supermodel for her water magic. Courting Apparitions is a ghost story. It is the sequel, but it probably could be, I think it should be able to be read separately. Recovery is actually the third book in the series, and it's a supernatural thriller. Um, and one of our contributors to Not an Able Bodied White Man with Money is Nancy Scott, a blind poet, and she lets me cover her chat books. Did I say cover? <laughs> um, carry her chat books. So that's a little bit of everything we do here at Parisian Phoenix. We have two self publishing clients that are putting out books that we're helping put together. Um, we have another author in the works who should be coming out. It's possible in 2024, might not be till 2025. Uh, we have a dentist who's doing a psychology book. Sounds weird, but I promise it's going to be cool. And we have a local historian who we are helping put his book together. So if you want to check out local books, feel free to follow me. And who knows, maybe even I'll start giving away some ebooks. If that's something that interests you, let me know in the comments.